Hello, my name is Rohan Paul and very welcome to my computer vision and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. Today in this video, I will go over the concepts of gram metrics. Probably you already know that gram metrics became very popular after neural style transfer came into the world because gram metrics is what made possible for neural style transfer algorithm to be able to compare images, the styles of images and ultimately transfer one style from one image to another image. All right, let's jump in. In simple words, a gram matrix is a matrix created by multiplying a matrix with its own transpose. As uh, you can see in this image here, that consider a matrix V given as follows. V is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a 2 square matrix of 2 rows, 2 column. Then the transpose of this matrix V transpose is, will be computed as just a reverse, just transpose the rows and columns. So 1, 3. Uh, goes to the goes like this and so uh, it becomes one three here and two four comes down and that's what we have so uh, that becomes a transpose and now the gram of the gramian matrix g is calculated by checking the matrix product of the two matrices v and v transpose as follows g equal to v transpose multiplied by v and it's a dot product between two um, do these two matrices and ultimately i get these uh, uh, result as 10 14 14 20 and that's the gram matrix of these uh, two matrices but to understand uh, gram matrix and how they capture the styles of an image uh, first we need to revisit the concept of dot product of two vectors so here is that image uh, let's uh, take a note of this image that uh, we have a and b vectors here and uh, the, and both of them are represented in a plane now the more correlated a and b are the more closer the vectors are that is the more similar they are which also means if they are closer the angle between them the angle theta here uh, will be less and by pure trigonometric rule the less this angle theta the more is a cosine of theta that is more the value of the expression a dot uh, b equal to a and modulus of a and modulus of b multiplied by cos theta that's the dot product value of them so less the theta this expression will be more because cos theta will be more so ultimately more is the more, more is the dot product between them so with this with this thing and this expression what we ultimately get is the rule that we get is when the dot product of two vectors are larger then we can infer those two vectors are similar now what does this theory of vector dot products have to do with a image based neural network and that's because when an image moves through the various layers of a neural network the content of an image is represented by the values of the intermediate feature maps these feature maps are all tensors or you can say metrics and it turns out the style of an image can be described by the means and correlations across the different feature maps now for style extraction from your input images we need to find the correlation between the features in each layer but the question is how do i find the correlation between these features and the answer to that is gram matrix so here gram matrix is used to determine if two matrices in this case filters are correlated it is achieved by calculating the dot product of the vectors of the two filters and this matrix obtained with the dot product of the vectors is our gram matrix if the dot product across two filters is large then the two are said to be correlated and if it is small then the images are uncorrelated just as what we uh, talked about in the previous layer now consider uh, an example consider two vectors uh, more specifically two flattened feature vector from a convolution feature map of depth c so this is uh, that tensor with a depth of c and width and height representing uh, the features of the input space now take all c feature vectors flattened from this so again this this depth is represented actually filled up by many features so right now this this pink slice is showing just one feature map but there will be many many feature ma feature maps here so uh, 
take all c feature vectors flattened from the convolution from this convolutional feature map of depth c and compute the dot product with every one of them including with a feature vector itself and the result is your gram matrix of size c by c this dot product of theirs gives us information about the relation between them the lesser the product the more different the learned features are and greater the dot product the more correlated the features are in other words the lesser the dot product the lesser the two features co-occur and the greater the dot product the more they occur together this in a sense gives information about an image style or its texture and zero information about its spatial structure since you already flattened the feature and perform dot product on top of it expanding on the same idea further let's take a note of this figure here so here in this image i am uh, representing the different channels of feature maps in a particular layer in a specific layer i mean so at this specific layer each channel of this feature map represents the different features present in the image now if we can anyhow find the correlation between these features we can get the idea of the style as a correlation is nothing but the co-occurrences of the image so in this figure we can see that we have a red channel yellow channel and green channel and let's say the red channel and yellow channel are fired up with high activation values that means they have high correlation meaning they occur together so these two channels will have a high correlation than that between red and green and we know that these co-occurrences can be calculated by calculating the correlation but we have to calculate this correlation between all the channels all the feature maps and that correlation between among all the channels with respect to each other is given by the gram matrix of an image hence we do calculate gram matrix to measure the degree of correlation between channels which later will act as a measure of the style itself and now the exact process of calculating the gram matrix or the algorithm of, uh, of uh, calculating the gram matrix so uh, take a look of these top uh, part of the image so here i have the input space of my input image and uh, this is this is a tensor of uh, size h by w by c and the c is the depth of the number of channels and then i flatten it uh, so i become one dimension becomes h into w height into width and another dimension remains c that is uh, this this is the uh, number of channels in the original input space and when i calculate the gram matrix on these uh, uh, the resultant gram matrix will be a c by c matrix so this is the overall simple steps in a nutshell and then take a look at this part of the image here it gives a little bit more on the actual implementation algorithm so uh, take a feature map if i of size w, w by w uh, then output will be a gram matrix um, in the space of n by n and the step one would be for each feature map so in our example on the top part of the example this gram the original was uh, h by w by c that that was the input space of the original tensor and the gram matrix just becomes c by c uh, and here they are uh, pretty much saying the same thing that um, okay so now in the step one for each feature map if i vectorize if i in convolution layer into a one-dimensional vector so that's what uh, this step was doing in the top part of the image and then combine so after vectorizing we will get uh, quite a few l that is each of them is uh, flattened like this uh, and then step two is to combine n one dimensional vector l i into a matrix f in the order of the feature maps and the step three get the transposed matrix f transpose of matrix f and compute the gram, gram matrix according to uh, equation our equation three here uh, one second yeah so this is that equation three that i'm talking about that uh, so uh, once we calculate the original uh, once we calculate the matrix f here and then take a transpose of f uh, f then the gram matrix will simply become the dot product between uh, between them so each element here m i j in the gram matrix m is the inner product 
of the fi and fj which can be obtained with this expression so this was uh, very mathematically represented so in more simpler term say uh, so going back to our original algorithm here in a simpler term say you have a set of images and you want to calculate the gram matrix so to start the process uh, say the image you have are of m by n shape so first reshape a single one to m into n into one that is flatten the shape uh, that is here we are just multiplying h by w that's exactly what i'm talking about uh, and similarly uh, after doing for this single image convert all other images to a same kind of flattened vector and then form all those vector form a matrix say m and then the gram matrix g of uh, those individual set of images will be the matrix that is obtained by from all these individual vectors and the transpose of that matrix that is here in this algorithm f and ft if you uh, if you get the dot product of f and ft that's simply your uh, gram matrix and uh, following the same algorithm uh, a simple python implementation is here so uh, look at the function uh, this, this gram matrix takes a tensor uh, function to gram matrix from image tensor right and first thing first that i am what i was doing here that i am unwrapping them uh, to flatten them so here exactly i'm uh, doing that first i'm getting from the tensor dot size i'm getting their batch uh, then the height width and the distance uh, and then i'm doing tensor.view to flatten them and the parameter passes passed are d and h into w uh, d is the depth and height and width then just simple uh, matrix multiplication of the, this tensor and the transpose of this tensor that is uh, what we got here in this algorithm f is a tensor uh, is a matrix that we got after flattening all individual ones and then i take the uh, transpose of ft as well and then calculate the matrix multiplication of those that is uh, torch dot here i'm uh, i am assuming that i'm using uh, pytorch so torch dot mm and then i'm passing tensor and tensor dot t and that is very much my gram matrix and that's what this function returns that pretty much wraps up this video and all my upcoming videos will all be on some great computer vision projects and algorithm with pytorch and tensorflow so stay tuned and if you have not subscribed yet do subscribe and if you like this video smash the like button thank you for watching